What's up guys, it's Moritz here from Section Store and today I'm going to show you how you can make this boring looking password page look more something like this. So we're going to customize it with the help of our app I'm using myself and I'm going to show you with one line of code how you can get rid of some sections like this one and this one. So only this banner we're going to be using is going to have the whole space. All right, the app I'm using for this is called Section Store. It's a Shopify component library with over 100 fully customizable components app itself is completely free and it doesn't come with any subscription to or anything that means you can just download it for free and it's not going to add unnecessary code to your store either right that's what we're going to do in the first step so we're going to head on over to the shopify admin area where we have downloaded the app already and we're going to click on explore sections and that's where we're going to find the page we were just looking at so it's this countdown section right here. I'm already owning it myself, but for you, it's going to be a one-time charge of $9. Like I said already, no hidden subscription fees or anything. It's a one-time purchase and you're going to own it forever. And it's just going to add the code of this section to your store. And you're not going to need to code anything of this yourself. You can just customize it for whatever you want it to look like. Sweet. Let's head back to the home area where we want to be looking for the countdown timer. We want to add it to our theme, don't like theme in my case. And then we want to head back to this area right here. It's the one you saw already. And usually you would end up at the home page if you open up the editor, but we want to edit the password page. This page is online already. So that page is not even going to be visible at the end. But if you didn't launch yet, that's a perfect use case for this scenario. I'm going to show you now. Okay, sweet. So I'm going to grab this real quick and the line of code we're going to need is this one, display none. So I'm gonna paste it in the description of the video as well. And I wanna get rid of the header too, because we're not gonna need that before the site hasn't even launched yet. And that is the perfect Canva for our little tutorial. So we're gonna add the section, gonna type in countdown, timer one. We're gonna see a nice little preview here. And now we're gonna start straight with customizing this thing. First thing I wanna be doing is get 50% off after launch rich text we don't need the color I'm gonna decide that later because first of all I wanna design that first be first to know when we launch sorry that's a different one I'm gonna get rid of that real quick okay the button sign up for discounts and we want to paste the link as well. In this example, it's going to be the contact page where people can get in contact with us. The button color, something I want to change to something like that. That's going to be the text. I'm actually going to change it to white. The background is going to be more something like that. And the hover, we don't need in that case. And we can change the radius as well. So you we can make it a bit smaller. So it looks like that. And the font size inside the button is changeable as well. All right, that is looking good. And we can set the timer too. So we want to set it to 2023, April. Just gonna put something random. You can decide that yourself. Depends on when you wanna actually launch your store. And we can even hide the timer when the time has actually passed. And we have a completed text. Launch happened. Sweet. And we have a translation as well. So depending on wherever you're from or where your customer group is from, you can change that as well. Now to the most exciting part, let's actually add an image to that whole thing. So it looks more engaging. I'm gonna use the one you saw in the beginning of the video. Maybe I'm gonna use that one. It's a cool looking one as well. That was a surf photo. And we should see it in a second. As you can see, it's a bit blurry, but we don't want that. We want to it look like that and we can even change the overlay color. So I'm going to make it a bit more greenish looking. It's a bit blue. Let's try it here and make it a bit darker so it looks cleaner. That is almost nice. A bit more. And I'm happy with that. That is looking nice. And we can change the border radius of the image as well. Or we can just say it has to cover the whole page. 
which we can do right here. So it has the whole space now. And we also want to get rid of the padding on the top. So it's going to be right up there. And that is pretty much it. A uh, little thing I want to do is maybe change the color of the bottom to like a greenish, darker. Maybe we're just going to make it white and the color in green. That looks nice. I'm happy with that. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like or a follow. And that's how you can make your passport page look nicer. With that being said, have a good one and peace out.